Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing really great. All those of you coming to my channel for the very first time, a very warm welcome to all of you. So guys, today's video is going to be a swatch video in which I am actually going to show you some of the shades in red and pink that you could actually wear on your interview day. So basically guys, I would suggest you to wear red colors or maybe colors in pink for your interview and avoid wearing colors like brown or maroon or purple any color that's too dark makes you look like as if you're going for a gothic party or maybe for a party which is at night so basically you need to have a shade which makes your skin look brightened up and at the same time it looks subtle and does not look too tacky at the same time the colors preferred are red and pink but there is also a slight uh, trick to it now the colors that you apply on your lips the shades should not be too bright or uh, too neon or maybe too fluorescent but it should be a subtle color which actually looks quite mild but looks really good at the same time if you had to go for an interview i would advise you not to go for a lipstick that is too glossy or too smudgy because that makes your lips look really bad at the end of the day because the interview goes on for a long long time and it's very difficult to keep touching up with the lipstick because if the lipstick is too dry and if you reapply the lipstick on the lipstick that you have already applied after 5 to 6 hours it gets cracks and it gets cakey at the same time like a foundation does to your skin so use a lipstick that stays long that is smooth but does not form cakes on your skin uh, that does not form cakes on your lips or has a crackiness on your lips which uh, makes it look really bad at the same time i would avoid wearing glossy lipsticks because uh, glossy lipsticks trend to smudge and tend to droop down which looks very bad because it comes off your lip and it looks very unpresentable and it doesn't look in place so i would avoid wearing glossy lipsticks now i would always recommend you to wear matte lipsticks because that looks really nice and it gives a really good finishing i know some of you might not like wearing matte lipsticks but guys matte lipsticks give a really good finish and when you're choosing a matte lipstick make sure that the matte lipstick is not too dry that will actually contract your lips and will look like as if you've got cracks in the middle of your lips so use a smooth matte finish lipstick which will look actually good when you apply it after so i'm going to use a couple of uh, red and pink lipsticks from different brands so you can obviously choose the lipstick that you want to go for what according to your taste and the lipstick that suits your budget so i will be sharing all the prices in the description box below so please go and check the description box if you want to know the price of each lipstick that i have used in this video so moving on with the video i'm going to show you all the red shades first that i'm going to use so stay tuned for it the first shade in red i am going to use is is the MAC Ruby Woo lipstick which is my favorite color guys and I actually am in love with this lipstick because the lipstick is so smooth and it actually goes so well into your lips it actually is so smooth in applying it gives us amazing matte finish So guys if you see this lipstick looks really gorgeous and it does not look very tacky but it looks really nice and it absolutely blends into your skin it doesn't look cakey at all and it gives absolutely an amazing finish if you want to go for this lipstick this is my favorite lipstick in the shade red that I have been using in the company since I joined the company and ever since I was a child because my mom used to use it and I have just I'm just in love with this shade guys so I would always recommend this shade next shade in red which is by Lakme uh, and it is the shade 359 so this is also a nice lipstick but it is not a matte finish lipstick but it actually is a nice one to apply for the interview Guys, as you can see, this is also having the same color that MAC Ruby Woo has, 
but this is slightly uh, glossy but it is not way too glossy that it actually droops off your lips so it gives a really good shade if you want to go and try it out it's a really good shade and I actually love this shade this lipstick is really smooth and it really is easy to apply and it actually stays for quite some time the next shade in red I'm gonna be using the lipstick from color bar which is all fired up 83 and this is also a red shade that you could actually go for also an amazing shade guys but this is slightly darker than MAC Ruby Woo and uh, slightly darker than like me as well so but it is also really nice it is not glossy uh, and it is not matte at the same time it's absolutely in the middle but it gives a very nice crayony texture so it is smooth when you apply and when you replenish it it also doesn't form cakes uh, the next shade that I'm using is by Maybelline which is uh, Maybelline color show creamy matte lip color in the shade bold crimson M201 now this shade is a bright red so it might be more or less like Ruby Woo but I think once I apply it so you can see the difference it's a little darker it's a little darker than all the it's a little darker than all the three shades that I previously applied but it actually gives a really nice finish and its texture is really smooth and it's actually very nice so if you replenish it also it does not form cakes but um, this doesn't last for a very long time but uh, it is sufficient for you to use it for at least 6 hours or 5 to 6 hours but this is guys I've tried few shades in red and I have given you uh, an idea of how the shades should look like and what are the uh, types of shades that you could actually wear in red now I'm going ahead and using few of the pink shades and showing you what are the pink shades that you could use in the interview so first I'm gonna go ahead and use the lipstick by Lakme which is Lakme absolute lip pout matte and the shade is hot pink queen so this is really nice guys because it actually is like a crayon so it's re it's a twister lipstick so when you apply it is actually a very soft color so it looks really nice that this pink is really nice and a really bright color which is not very flashy but actually looks it makes your face look really nice and uh, you get a very nice sweet kind of look after you apply this lipstick and it's actually crayony so it's very nice and smooth it doesn't require touch up for at least eight hours unless and until you are drinking something or you're eating something so naturally you have to apply lipstick again until unless it's not transferable but I really like this lipstick because it's really nice and it stays for a long time. Another shade, this is my favorite shade. It is like a fruity shade which is from MAC and it's a retro matte flat out fabulous 826. I think you have also noticed me wearing this shade earlier but I'll still wear it and show it to you guys that this is an amazing shade guys. It is absolutely matte and it gives a really nice fruity kind of a pink look which is actually very cute when you wear it and uh, it's actually towards the neonish side but it's not very bright or very tacky that hurts the eye but it's a very nice and a very nice pink that you could actually wear on the interview day now the thing I like about this is matte because I love matte lipsticks and it stays for quite a long time it stays for around 10 hours or maybe 8 hours or something that's too oily because it stays for quite a long time and I have been using this for a long time now because I really love MAC lipsticks it stays long and it lasts for a long time moving on with the next lipstick in pink is a Maybelline color show cream matte lip color which is flaming fuchsia M104 now this is something that I use daily to work so I'm kind of bored using this color but it is 
actually a very nice color guys it's a very bright and uh, a very nice pink color and uh, now there is one kick to this guys this lipstick tends to be slightly cakey and patchy for some but it might be okay for some girls so for me it becomes slightly cakey which I do not like and uh, there's a tendency for this lipstick to slightly smudge uh, towards the edges but since I have been using it every day I keep touching up again and again on my lips. My advice would be if you want to replenish your lipstick, remove the entire lipstick and apply it again. So this is something negative about this lipstick but it is a really nice color and I use it every day to beauty so I really like this shade. Apart from all the flaws it has, I really like the color which Maybelline has come out with Flaming Fuchsia. So guys, these were the few lipsticks that I actually wore and showed it to you that you could use for your interview day. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the shade so you can make a comparison and you can choose the shades that you would like to go for.